In today's devotion, I'm taking a page from Greg Laurie's devotional. He said we can share, so this is what I'm doing, sharing. Yesterday we left you with the fact that God is in control. He is. That is the reason why this is so very important for us. The Times and the Seasons. This is the title of his devotion. When we think of the God who is in control and consider his return, it makes us want to seek him more, to know more about him, and so live for him. Listen to Greg Laurie's devotion and let us give earnest consideration to it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6 Therefore let us not sleep as do others do, but let us watch and be sober. Jesus said to the Pharisees and Sadducees, You know how to interpret the weather signs in the sky, but you don't know how to interpret the signs of the times. Matthew 16, verse 3. In other words, look, pay attention to the signs of the times. Bible prophecy is a fascinating subject, one that's really interesting to explore. But we must never study prophecy or the events that the Bible describes as happening in the end times in a merely academic way. When we read about these events, it should always give us a sense of compassion because we are reading about a real judgment that will come upon the world. Paul wrote to the believers in Thessalonica, But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 1 and 2 and 4 and 6 in the New King James Version. As we consider the Lord's soon return, it should cause us to want to reach out to friends, family, and loved ones who do not know the Lord. It should also cause us to want to live more godly lives. It should affect us in the way that we live. Thank you, Greg Laurie. This is a very important and challenging topic. God bless you. We know that the God who is in control, the one who has everything in his hands, we are seeing, we are seeing all the signs, signs that are being fulfilled. And we believe that God is able God sent His only begotten Son into the world to die for our sins. And this Son is returning. This Son is returning for those who are prepared. Let us wait. Let us have faith and wait in faith. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to wait upon you. We realize, O oh God, that the end is very near. Help us, Lord, to observe the times and the seasons. And God, help us to wait in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.